Hello, and welcome to, what's my channel's name now? <coughs> oh yeah, Burger Town Garage. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, so here, I not quite finished, but really, really close to being done, uh, EJ25 engine. As you can see, I've gotten the intake on, throttle body. Uh, I've put the time, I put a new, brand new Gates timing system in, uh, new belt, pulleys, all the whole nine yards. I put a new oil pump in, I put a new water pump in, um, I put new valve cover gaskets on, new head gaskets. Uh, I need to get a new crank sensor. And I need to figure out what the hell to do with all these extra hoses here. Also, I need to finish the, I need to finish the swap on the, uh, on this water fitting here. I need to just put this down here, cut it, and clamp it. Um, this is EJ253 stuff, so it's, um, it was fly-by-wire, and it was a little bit different on the throttle there. Anyways, <laughs> as you can see, I got all the harness plugged in over here. Pretty much everything is plugged in. I got the crank sensor swapped over from the old engine because it's a different plug style, which is important. I just don't know what to do with these EGR tubes. I think it has something to do with this here, but I'm not positive. All this was taken apart when I bought the engine, by the way. So I have very little idea of how all this stuff goes together. Like, no idea where this goes. Um, but I'm going to start looking some stuff up. And I get to come over here to the wall of not quite shame. I might. I might swap over these engine mounts because they're not quite so disgusting. <laughs> you can see my brand new water pump in there and I got the hose moved over. Uh, I got the dipstick and I got the oil pan. Oh, oil pan's installed uh, with a new gasket. I don't know how that's going to work. It may need to be RTV'd. I just don't, I don't know these engines well enough to know that. Oh, I need to install a bolt there, and I think, yeah, a bolt there on the oil tube here. Uh, and that should be everything. Um, there may be some, I don't know what all brackets were taken off of this originally. Maybe this, but I don't remember what this was for. So. I, well, not remember. I don't know what it's for. I have no idea. A lot of these parts are from the old engine that came out of the car, so a lot of this stuff won't go back in it, but some of it will. Like these. Whoa. Like these fancy coil plugs here. Those will go in. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't really know what else is in here, but uh, I'm... I'm reusing the serpentine belts because they're gates, I think. Yeah, they're gates belts. So they're pretty nice and I inspected them. They're not cracking or anything. I was originally going to reuse the timing system and put all that back in, but I thought, what the hell, if I'm this far into the damn engine, I might as well. Serpentine belts I can always come back and replace if need be. Um, excuse my mess here. I've just. I've been hauling ass since I got home from work around five o'clock. I've just, I didn't even eat. I just came in here, started hauling ass, ripped the old oil pump and water pump off, put the new ones on, valve cover gaskets. I did dump a little bit of oil on the top of the valve, valve train just to, just to keep it a little moist so that when I'm eventually, when this thing starts cranking again, it's not cranking, you know, just metal. Uh, this, I have no idea. Oh, you know what? I think that goes there. Hot damn. Look at that. Got one mystery solved. Yeah, pretty sure that goes on there. I'll have to do that with two hands, but what else? Uh, this is for the plug wires. There is a bracket that came off the old engine that mounted here or here. And it had the uh, it had the loop that you pick up the engine with, um, and it also held these connectors in. Uh, I don't have that plug. <laughs> I 
I accidentally sold it with the old engine. Whoopsie poopsie. Uh, also, don't let me forget, I need to plug this hole with something. I don't know what. Get a plug off. I think they make, they have, a, yeah, they sell plugs on Amazon. I may just buy one of those and do that. That'd be easier. I don't know what the audio sounds like in here. It might be kind of echoey. I have a, I have an engine or a car cover up there that I may, I may bust out if this car's not done by the time it starts snowing. I really don't want this to get covered in crap. Well, not this, but I don't want the car to get covered in crap. So, we'll see. Anyways, that's the update. Just wanted to let people know I'm still doing the thing. I'm still, still making progress. Uh, I got some, I got some new tools there. Thanks to the a snafu with the snap-on truck, I ended up with quite a bit of money worth of free tools. So, thumbs up for that. Uh, so. I ended up getting one of the big service kits. It's like a $750 kit. Uh, I would never have bought it otherwise, but kind of hard not to if it's free. I'm not going to elaborate. It would take too long to explain, and I don't remember the details. But anyways, um, that's going to be it for this update. Hopefully, next update is with the engine being completed and maybe uh, putting it in the car. I don't know. <laughs> I doubt we'll get that far by the end of November, but you never know. Maybe I'll get a wild hair up my ass and we'll just do it. Oh, I also put new spark plugs in the engine. I forgot to mention that. Um, but anyways, that'll do it for now. Um, see you guys next time on Burger Town Garage. Like and share and comment if you want. Comment some cool things or some dumb things. Dislike it if you hate this. Um, I don't. So, you know, do what you will. But uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.